Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want a formula that will return the sheet name. Now I'm going to show you three methods. The first method only works in Excel 365. The second method works in any version of Excel. And for the third method, we're going to create a VBA function and that will work in any version of Excel. So let's start off with the first method, only working in Excel 365. We're going to start with a function called cell. And from this list, you choose file name and then close the bracket at the end. Now, if I press enter, it's going to return the entire file path for this workbook. And by the way, this will only work if you've previously saved your workbook. Now, this file path does include the sheet name. You can see that at the end there. And helpfully, you've got this close square bracket preceding that sheet name. Now we're going to use another function to return everything after that close square bracket. And the function we're going to use is called text after. And this is only available in Excel 365. So text after, your first argument is text. So that's returned by the cell function, comma, and then your delimiter is that closed square bracket. And you need to put that in speech marks. So you close the bracket for text after, and then you press enter, and it returns the sheet name. If I change the sheet name down here, say to 2024, it automatically updates the value in cell A1. Okay, let's move on to the second method. So this is similar, and it's going to work in any version of Excel. So again, we start off with cell and we choose file name, close the bracket, press enter. So we know that that returns the entire file path. We haven't got text after though as an option. So we need another way of returning everything after this closed square bracket. Now we're going to have to use three additional functions to return the sheet name here. The first of which is the write function. So we're going to put cell within write. Now the write function returns a specified number of characters from the right side of a text string. So by default, if I don't specify the number of characters, it will return the last character, which in our instance is five, because our sheet name is sales2025. Now, obviously, we want to return more than the last character. In fact, we want to return the last 10 characters. Now, to calculate how many characters to return, we can use the len function in combination with the find function. So len on its own will return the number of characters in a text string. So if we get to calculate the number of characters returned by our cell function, we'll find it's 185. Then we need to find the position of that closed square bracket within that text string. And to do that, we can use the find function. So find text. So that would be our closed square bracket. Within text, is the next argument. So the text returned by our cell function. And then we don't need to use the last non-mandatory argument there. If I press Enter after that last close bracket, you can see that that close square bracket is in position 175. So if I then copy this formula, what I'm going to do is subtract that 175 from this 185. So that gives me a result of 10. So I want to return the last 10 characters. So then what I do is copy the whole of this and put it within the right function. So comma, number of characters calculated by len and find. And that will return the sheet name. Now, if the sheet name was different, if I wrote total in there, for example, if I've got more characters, it will still return the entire sheet name. Now, another option is to use a VBA function. So in VBA, you can create your own functions and we can create one that will very simply return the sheet name. Now to create and use the VBA function, 
we need to open the Visual Basic Editor. And one way of doing that is to right click on the Sheet tab and go to View Code. So this opens the Visual Basic Editor and you're gonna need a module for your function. So to do that, go to Insert and then Module. There's your module. Now it's here in the code window that you need to paste in the VBA function. Now you'll find this code somewhere in the description below. So just copy it and paste it into that code window and then close the Visual Basic Editor. So now what I can do is just use the function that I've created and it's called sheet name and it has nothing in its brackets. So it looks exactly like that. And if I press enter, it returns the sheet name. If I change the sheet name, let's change it back to sales 2025, it will automatically update. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.